Hey, this is Dan from DS Design Woodworking. Got a quick project today, making a live edge coat rack for someone local. It's a pretty straightforward project, but I think I came up with a, a unique mounting method. So that, that's the interesting portion of it, hopefully. Well, dealing with the live edge board, it's very handy to have a draw knife on hand. Makes removing the bark much cleaner and more efficient. I currently don't have a joiner in the shop as I'm shopping for a 16 inch joiner planer combo so I had to get creative with the router. So the build itself is pretty straightforward. It's the method of mounting using a French cleat that I think is a little unique and that's what I wanted to detail. I've been thinking about using a French cleat for some other larger projects to wall mount something and I thought it would be a nice clean way to mount this shelf also without any hardware showing. My original thought was to find a 45 degree metal piece and then use the table saw to machine a matching groove in the back of the shelf so I would just have one piece of metal and then the shelf would slide right onto it. But I couldn't find the piece I wanted, so I had to set it up to use both halves of this French cleat instead. Normally the French cleat will force whatever you're using it on to project out from the wall, and I was going for a flush mount, but I had to create a relief for it. I made a template to double check the concept before routing it into the actual shelf and it worked great. Once I had it installed on the shelf I got a nice secure mount out of it. As I'm saying in there as a little baby pro tip for some cheap dust collection right next to your workplace. I just use a box fan with a furnace filter, a 20, 20 by 20 filter on it, and then when you're done you just blow it out and it's ready to use again. For finish, I'm a big fan of this Minwax pre-stain conditioner. It does a really nice job of evening out the uh, stain uptake into the grain and, and also for end grain it really keeps it more even with the board and gives a little bit of rich color all by itself. The next coat is Danish oil in light walnut. And on different woods I keep testing different stains and I keep coming back to this one as what looks best. The top coat is going to be a catalyzed lacquer. I had to do a little test to make sure this would be brushable as the catalyzing agent makes it dry faster but also dries harder. By thinning it down a bit I found that it was it brushed just fine. Last look at the French cleat. And a test fit just to make sure before I let the new owner know it's ready to go. Hopefully that uh, might work out for somebody. I'm going to employ that same method on a larger scale for some upcoming pieces. I've got one right here in progress. That's going to be an uh, epoxy poured piece of wall art and I'm going to employ a similar mounting system. I'm going to build it into both the horizontal and vertical sides so it can be hung either way. I got another one just off the CNC here that I'm going to make a video out of, even though this one is going to be an example of what can go wrong. I got the wrong epoxy product sent to me and I didn't test it beforehand because I was anxious to get this poured and it uh, went to exothermal and cracked all over the place. I'm doing a lot of repairs on it. so. 
I'll finish that video up just as a, a bit of a warning that what some of the things that can go wrong and uh, why it's important to use the right product. So if you want to see those upcoming videos, hit the subscribe button. Give me a like on this video if you like the show for the idea or give me a comment uh, if you have another idea for a hidden mount. I like the mill hardware clean look. If you got something that you think works better, please let me know what it is. And until next time, thanks for watching.